Okay, welcome to our lesson covering the difference between actual sale and agreement to sale. Before we commence our lesson, kindly remember to hit the subscribe button so that you may not you will not miss any of our future video. One of the difference between actual sale and agreement to sale is actual sale is a sale that takes place immediately. So you go to a kiosk, you purchase a packet of flour, it is, is transferred to you immediately. An example of an agreement to say it is a sale that depend more, more on future transfer. So for instance, you go and purchase a motor vehicle. Before that motor vehicle is transferred to your name, it will take a certain duration of time. Actual sale, the seller can see for the price even if the goods are still in his position, whereas in agreement to say the seller cannot see for the damage if buyer rejects the commodity he previously agreed on. So the seller can see for the damage if, for instance, in agreement to sell, the seller who was in agreement to sell have already processed, processed the title deed or the log book of a motor vehicle. But coincidentally, the buyer rejects the good, so the seller can, can sue the buyer for rejecting the good which he have went at the rows before like processing the rock book the cost for processing the rock book and the title deed in actual say the burden of the burden of the burden of damage even if the good are still in position of Sarah raised to the bar where an agreement to see the burden of damage raised to the Sarah therefore in uh, actual say even if the good are still in the position of the Sarah and happen to be damaged, the burden of damage rise with the buyer. For instance, you purchase a phone from a mob from a mobile dealer, then you fail to take the phone immediately after buying using an actual sale. So if the phone get damaged where, where it is in the position of the seller, the damage will rise to the buyer. Or in the agreement to say if there was an error experience or processing a rock book, the cost of the error will write to the seller. In actual say it is mostly oral in nature and does not follow a lot of formalities, whereas in agreement to say it is mostly in writing involving a lot of legal formalities. For instance, when you go to kiosk, you don't you don't note that you have purchased a packet of hunger and tell the shopkeeper to sign so it does not follow a lot of legal formality you go in a kiosk you buy a packet of hunger and then you go and cook whereas in agreement to say if you want to purchase a rad they, they it move around a lot of legal formalities and legal expert in order to purchase that commodity thank you for watching kindly don't forget to hit the subscribe button in order not to miss any of my future videos. Thank you.